Hi everybody, welcome to the Oakland Nursery YouTube channel. Today we are at the Oakland Home Store at the Dublin location and we are standing in our boutique wine corner. Today I'm with Shelly and Shelly is going to teach us how to build a charcuterie board. to put a charcuterie board together. Charcuterie is the French term for a branch of cooking devoted to prepared meat products. And before you put your board together, you need to determine what your theme is going to be. One of our books here that we love is about bold boards. There's certain things like the Americana, you can do breakfast boards, you can do Italian boards, you can do smoked boards, dessert boards. Today we're going to concentrate on a traditional board. After you've decided on your theme, you want to gather your materials. The first thing that you want to gather is your actual charcuterie board. It can be small. Maybe you're just having an intimate group of three or four people over. This board is what we're using today. It is great because it is a perfect guide on what to put on the board. This is a medium-sized board. This is your grand board, which will serve quite a few people. You'll want to gather materials to make your serving more effective, so toothpicks, slicers, forks, for instance, for olives, um, for your napkins, and the plates that they will put their food on. Some things that we sell here, we've got the cheese knives. We actually have a wood board set. This is for the cheese to actually prawn it, and then that's to slice it. Now that you have all your supplies together, you can start putting your board together. In this case, what I did is I found nuts that combined raisins with the almonds. Um, there's actually some toasted garbanzo beans in there. Uh, I, I happen to love to use cashew on my, cashews on my charcuterie board. I call all of these poppables, so strawberries. They're one of the most popular things to put on a, a charcuterie board because you just pop them in your mouth. There's, you don't even need a napkin. You don't even need a toothpick. Uh, grapes. Grapes come in, as you know, many different colors. So they help, help round out your board, fill it in, and give it some color. Briny offerings. So olives, and you can get an olive little boat if you'd like. Um, these definitely require toothpicks. The crudités and the dips. So cut vegetables. Think of all the vegetables that are just easy to purchase in bulk. Slice, cut, they make a nice presentation as well. One thing that we happen to like a lot, um, we sell this next door at the garden center, are the jams. And that's where your crackers come in handy. I love putting out a log of goat cheese. I like sea salt crackers, pita chips, and then you just take a little dollop of this and plop it on top of that cracker. And then of course, I'm standing behind all the wine that goes <laughs> with these wonderful boards that you can make. Some of the products that we use for our charcuterie board are the Tillin Farms Blue Cheese Olives, Olive Cucina line. We have amazing products in this line. We have chocolate and we have the savories. But a gal here took this, um, tossed the tortellini in it, cheese tortellini that had been cooked, and then skewered it for a charcuterie board, and it went over very well. We've got the sweet pepper pestos of all kind of pestos. You could put on crostinis. These little guys are called crostadas. They're from Bella Cucino. 
and you can do savory or sweet. Um, you can put the pestos in there and put a little rosemary leaf out of it. Also, um, lemon curd, we have that over there with the whipped cream on top. These are poppables also. Pop right in your mouth. Thank you for watching this video today. If you have any interest in joining us for our entertaining workshops, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Please come in at any time and we can help you put your charcuterie board together. Mm. Yummy! On here, so, um, you always should have something salty. If you have one board, you have, have you should complement anything with something salty, which I have olives right here, something sweet. This is a tomato jam on this soft cheese. It's a and I I had never tried it, so I opened it up and tried it. It's excellent, and we do carry it here in our village.